My next great parallel moment was how fantastic it was to meet some famous people or famous to me people. I met the Wheel Elvis and I met Isaac Harvey from Wheels and Wheelchairs and I met Mark Webb who is one of the Shaw Trust's 100 most influential disabled people. He's on the Shaw Trust power list for disabled people. And the significance of seeing people like the real Elvis and Isaac and Mark, who are wheelchair users, who are out and doing things, whether it's singing or racing or whatever it is, has real personal meaning to me because my grandfather became a paraplegic through an acquired injury. He was at Stoke Mandeville Hospital, the hospital set up by the um, Dr Ludwig Gutmann who escaped the Nazis and looked to rehabilitate people through access to sport and in a way Parallel is a part of that legacy. It's not about rehabilitating people, but it is about access to sport. And my grandfather used to be somebody who sailed boats and had adventures. He signed up for the Navy and lied about his age so that he could fight in the Second World War. And when he became a paraplegic, he stayed at home as a child, I knew him to be upstairs in his bedroom. He came down for dinner. We didn't see him and he didn't do things anymore because his understanding of what it was to be disabled was to be hidden. And so when I meet the real Elvis and Mark and Isaac, who are very much not hidden, <laughs> I know Mark and Isaac especially from their LinkedIn posts. It's so great to see the changes happening. More change is needed, but the changes are happening and Parallel is a part of the change.